We experience God's loving presence in many ways, from the moment we first draw breath till our earthly journey ends. And there are particular moments out of the ordinary when we experience His presence in an even more profound manner through the sacred encounters brought to us by our priests. Washed by baptismal waters, we are affectionately welcomed into the family of the Church as brothers and sisters in Christ. At First Holy Communion, our priests are instruments through whom we receive Christ for the very first time. Through the Sacrament of Reconciliation, they bring us God's forgiveness and offer us strength and encouragement to overcome weakness. In holy matrimony, their presence reminds us that God is witness to the covenant between husband and wife. In the anointing of the sick, we receive from them God's healing touch and at times the courage to face the end of our earthly journey to make our peace with others and with God. All this is made possible only through the priest, ordained ministers of God, whose hands are anointed, sanctified and consecrated when they receive the sacrament of holy orders. In their celebration of the Eucharist, our priests make present to us and include us in Christ's redeeming sacrifice on the cross. We receive the catechesis that keeps us firmly rooted in the gospel values. The priest makes significant the moments that remind us of who we are and what we are called to be. Everyone baptized is another Christ. Our lives are touched in many other ways too. Through the pastoral ministry, a listening ear, a comforting word, a blessing that touches the heart. Through education and mission, they equip us to meet our material needs. We pay to the students and uh, we open to them. At the same time, help them and guide them in the way you can do best. They started out as ordinary boys and men, leading ordinary lives. How did they know that they were chosen? What made them answer the call? In all humility, they remember the moment with wonderment, for that too was so simple, just as it was when Christ called to his first fishers of men, Come, follow me. God has chosen me, when perhaps he could have chosen so many others, and it took me a lot of time to believe it or to accept it. I ridiculed uh, the group that had been assembled by a priest and eventually I myself uh, felt attracted to the Mass. This was the call that made Saint Jean-Marie Fianni so determined despite the odds. God has given each one of us our own work to do. It is for us to pursue our road, our vocation. When God gives us such a vocation, he bestows upon us, at the same time, His grace to fulfill it. I've had very, very poor health. not fit physically to be a priest. And God just lifted me up. I'm extremely happy to help others because I love the sick, the dying, and God gave me the chasm of healing. To our priests, they share insights that have served them well. If you go looking for happiness, you'll never find it. Just live your life, do what you're supposed to do, focus on God, and happiness comes your way. And the attitude of uh, a priesthood should be sacrifice. That's the beauty of the priesthood, no? As long as you are a man for others, and long as you want to help people come to God. The priesthood is not meant to be kept for you. You have to give it out. You are a minister to dispense the sacrament. Ask what you can do for others. We are the recipients of that special grace that flows from our priest vocations. For they have been called to a higher purpose, to a service that only they can fulfill. At every Eucharist, we hear these words, The Lord be with you. When we respond, and with your spirit, 
may we offer them too a blessing in return. The awareness of our support and our deepest and most heartfelt gratitude. Many hands help us on our journey that is our life. Hands that hold. Hands that caress. Hands that guide. And the most beautiful of all, the hands that bless. We despair in all the world is God bless.